Alright, so the second method of doing this is using uh, the Windows client. Um, so this, again, only works on Windows. Um, so, But to first download it, uh, we're going to go to the uh, web client address again. So it's going to be 10.10.741. I'm going to open it. Um, right here, we're going to hit download vSphere client. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. Once it downloads, install it, um, and then uh, we can open it. So I'm going to open v, uh, vSphere web client, uh, sorry, Windows client. Um, again, the login is going to be your login with vSphere.local, and the password is going to be your password that we changed. Um, so to connect, uh, we're going to go through this process, and it's going to open our main homepage. So yours is probably going to look like this. Um, so we're going to hit the plus on PureFlex, hit the plus on the data center, uh, our class folder, and then your folder is going to, you can click on it. Um, so again, we have a template here. Um, I'm going to deploy uh, to a new virtual machine and it's going to go through the exact same process that we had. Uh, we need to hit our folder, uh, type a name. I'm going to hit this host again. Uh, it's going to be in the Unix class data store. Continue and finish. It's going to be right here. And we're we once it's finished and finishes cloning it, um, I can start it up. All right, so now that it's done, I can hit power on and I can go over to console. And it's going to be the same console that we had. It's going to load up. Again, we have to click in. This time there's no blue bar around it. We have to click in. Um, I'm going to hit user. Again, it's Unix. And I'm in. If I want to get out, though, my mouse is trapped in here. Uh, I have to do uh, control alt which will release my mouse and now I can go around. So uh, again I'm going to shut this down and delete it. Right click and hit delete from disk.